Hi, I'm Scott Hanselman. I'm going to talk to you about Windows 10, specifically Windows 10, the November update. Now, Windows 10 is being continuously updated, so it's still Windows 10. Uh, in the past, we might have called this Windows 10 Service Pack 1, or maybe they would have called it Windows 10.1. But at this point, it is just the continuation of automatic updates of uh, Windows. This is kind of a whole roll-up of updates that they're calling the Windows 10 November update. Uh, if you want to get that, you have to go to the Start menu and go Settings and hit Windows Update, and you can manually check for updates. It's slowly rolling out across uh, the world right now. You don't have to do anything, though. Uh, if you just wait, it'll happen in the next couple of weeks, and you'll get this, uh, this update. To confirm that you have it, if uh, you want to, go to the Start menu and type Command, and then type in ver. And uh, if you have 10.2.4.0, you have the version of Windows 10 that came out earlier this year. If you have version 10.5.8.6, then that means that you have the November update. Now, what I've got here is a list of all of the new little subtle things that are happening inside of Windows 10 November update. So I'm just going to scroll through this list and walk through them with you right now. Uh, first one, if we click on the Start menu here, a reminder that one can go and resize the Start menu like this, both left and right, and up and down. That is not new. But a lot of people felt that uh, these columns of three wide, one, two, three wide, was uh, not enough. So you can go to the Start menu and type in Tiles. See here it says Show More Tiles on Start. Show More Tiles. You see right there it goes from 3 wide to 4 wide. Now at this point, I've got more tiles. Then if I wanted to, I could go like this, and I could make a whole row of 4s. So totally up to you. I'm going to keep it like this. But that is new, Show More Tiles. All right? When you are dealing with your tiles and you right click on them, this menu has changed a little bit. And when you say resize, it shows you what the tiles are going to look like. So you can see like a wide is going to look like this or a large is going to look like that. And of course, as before, you can unpin them and turn the live tiles off. You can also pin and unpin things from the taskbar. So you see here I've got my mail application both as a tile and in my taskbar so that I can uh, check that out. Hey, look, the boss is online. So that's one thing, and that's cool. Um, <clears throat> another subtle thing is these context menus. Context menus are when you right-click on stuff. Uh, in Windows, originally, when you right-click uh, right or use what's called the context menu, you'd get a lot of very, very inconsistent-looking menus. The spacing was weird. The coloring was weird. They've gone and updated a lot of that. See? So it's it's much more consistent. Uh, I think that they're kind of going through all of Windows 10 and making things uh, a lot more consistent, which is nice. Right here I've got Word and Excel. Notice that I'm going to take Excel, I'm going to slap it up against the corner there, and I've got Word also snapped. Just pick it up, take it up against the edge here, and if I hover in the middle between Word and Excel, you notice that there's now a splitter bar. You see that black bar right there? This means that I can take two snapped windows and resize them both by resizing just one. That is also new in the Windows 10 November update. Under Date and Time Settings, it can actually automatically check and set your time zone. That does this by looking at the, uh, the location, you know, if you've got GPS. So if you take your laptop and you go from place to place, you don't necessarily have to change your time zone. As with all of these settings, it can be turned off. As always, you know, you want to go under Privacy. And you can change your privacy settings for basically everything whether or not you want to allow an application to do something. You can turn off or on all of these things as you like. So just like on an iPhone or an iPad, go through and uh, make sure that you know what Windows is sending out and whether or not you want to go and allow that. That's important. One of the things that was a little bit surprising to me was the addition of a new uh, messaging application. So 
This is basically a little mini Skype or kind of Skype light. You've got messaging here, and then you've got an app called Skype Video. And then you've got a app called Microsoft Phone that lets you make calls. It's kind of like a little tiny Skype, just like you've got Outlook and you've got Mail, you've got this little Skype application. Not quite sure what I think about that yet, uh, but as with all applications, uh, you can probably get rid of it if you don't like it. One of the things that might freak people a little bit out is uh, that the system process might look like it's using a lot of memory. I'm going to bring up the task manager here. You see where it says system and compressed memory, and compressed memory is new. Basically, rather than paging out memory to disk, uh, Windows can now squish it, compress it. Imagine if it were basically zipping up pages of memory that weren't being used very often and uh, taking advantage of the memory that you have. So you might get the impression that memory usage is a little bit higher, uh, but what in fact is happening is Windows is uh, trying to avoid paging out to disk uh, in using up a little bit more RAM in the process. That's why they've named that uh, compressed memory, or the, what's called the Memory Manager Compression Store. Uh, don't worry about it. Uh, if system uses more memory, that is why. While it might feel like there aren't a whole lot of new shiny features, uh, a couple of the small ones, like being able to configure the Start menu more, some of the things around color, consistency around right-click menus, uh, little improvements in Cortana, all kind of, in my opinion, add up to a little bit more of a polished experience. Certainly something that you should go for and try to update, so be sure to run Windows Update, and uh, we'll see what comes in future versions of Windows 10. Thanks. Please do subscribe, by the way, to my YouTube channel.